Hello, good day everyone. We are here again in Kusina ni Jinkai or in my kitchen. And I am going to make today a Mexican fajitas. And here we have the ingredients. I am going to show you the ingredients of the fajitas. We have here 250 grams of beef. I am going to cut this later into strips. We have uh, cilantro, onion, red, red bell pepper and green bell pepper. And of course, we need a little spice in it. And we have uh, salt to taste, pepper to taste, and of course, our tortilla wraps. This we are going to saute later. This is for to saute. This is fajitas. These ingredients. And now for our pico de gallo, we are going to use lemon juice, tomato. I'm going to chop this later. And chop uh, just a piece of uh, small ajo or garlic as well as uh, chop red onions, of course cilantro, most important, and the one that gives us the spice. I love spicy. And uh, of course our olive oil. And that's it guys, and later on we also need a boiled beans, which is at the moment it's still boiling. Boy, my beans is still boiling, but you can also buy the boiled beans in a jar so that you don't have much work to do. Okay, we need to start going. Okay, here we are. Now we are going to make our pico de gallo. Just mix, what you're going to do is just mix all the ingredients. Here is I chopped already the red onions. Put it right there in our bowl. I already chopped the one tomatoes. This is the mm, hot pepper. I'm going to put it all because I love it. Just a little bit of garlic like that. A cilantro. Who loves cilantro? B numero uno. Bon, cilantro, and let's see. Just two teaspoons of our lemon juice, lemon juice, two teaspoon. I did put two teaspoon. And here our olive oil. Just, just sprinkle it, don't be shy. Olive oil is healthy. I think I did put around two tablespoon. Don't be shy with olive oil, it's healthy. And pepper to taste, salt to taste. And just stir it like that, and you have it done. And this is our pico de gallo for our tortillas today. Okay, now we need to start making the fajitas. In our hot pan, we need to put some olive oil. garlic okay. our meat 250 grams of the beef I got it on strips just like that you need to wait until it gets Color. Okay, salt to taste, flour meat, Pep pepper to taste, okay. guys we need to take this out, we need to take our beef out, 
and here is our beef it has to be taken out otherwise it gets overcooked and it's not good okay in a hot pan with hot oil now we start spraying our vegetables Our peppers, sell back in the street. Just dump it all there. Our hot pepper, I love hot pepper. And later on, the cilantro. I really love pepper. Now, we're going to the base. Pepper to base. And that's easy. Our garlic. I like garlic so I need to put a little bit more. Which you don't have to because I already had it when I was preparing it a bit. You see? Beautiful color for our fajitas. It's gonna be a great lunch today again. Just keep on preparing until, until the vegetables get done, but not overcooked. Then you put this on the side. Hello. Now we have to put our beef. Because if the vegetable is already done, if you see, there's a beautiful color in it, which is perfect because it's not overcooked. And then cilantro again. And this is it. And this is it. Now our fajitas is done. I will set aside because I am going to make the beans. Here is the pinto beans. Soaked pinto beans. We boiled it until soft. Perfect. Here we have a bacon bits. We need to add some garlic, onion, chop onion, and just paste here until it's done. Beans. The onion are soft. Now we need to add the beans. Very nicely. With its water in it. Stir it all out. And then we need to put some alimentos. We need to put chili powder. Mino molido, just sprinkle around, but not much because this is, has a very strong flavor. We have a gunpowder jalapeno from Texas. It's very spicy. People here in the house, it's very spicy. They, they would like spicy. Okay. Coco. Now, I need to mash our beans. I need to turn down into low heat while mashing. And I need to put the water. You can speak. Wait. You know that you are here anyway, so. How? I'm 
here it is. The beans is almost done. Has to boil. Has to boil to evaporate some water. In just in a low heat. You need to heat up the tortilla. So that you have it fresh. And it gets soft when it's hot. Not much, just two seconds. And then put it in your bread basket. You need to cover the, ba the basket, the tortilla, so that it will not get cold. And I am now heating our fajitas. No, no. Now we are going to eat, and here is what we are going to do. First, you need to put the beans. More beans is good. And our fajitas, very, very important. This is what makes it good. Just fill it. Fill your wraps with the fajitas and that's it. And pico de gallo on the top of it. And that's it. And fold them. And here it is, the fajitas. You see, very nice. Thank you guys, and see you again next time. Please like and subscribe. Now we are eating our tortillas. And a sarap sarap ito guys. Subukan nyo ito at ito ay masarap as mas stansya. At madali lang gawin. Dami naman ang karap eh. Ano, ano na siya oh. Dali naman kayo na. Sus. Palit pita mo dito sa mga mall. Inani naman na siya. Dali na kayo mo on. You can do it in your own home. In, in your sleep. In your sleep. You can do it. This is a sloppy food, but they are the best. One more. Mm. Still have it in a pen. Mm. 